overall thoughts on the game, first win of the season? Um, yeah, no, it's great. You know, great for our guys to get a W under the belt. Uh, you know, they've been working really hard. Um, you know, we all, you know, good team. You know, one of the best players in the league. Uh, showed it today. Uh, but I thought a lot of guys contributed. A lot of guys did uh, a lot of good things. Um, so, you know, overall, uh, pleased. And you, know, you just got to get right back at it, though. You know, it's uh, a whole lot of time to celebrate. Hi, A Hoop Podcast. Hey, Mike, uh, looking sharp. Um, Jameer, you know, career high today. Um, and, and I thought he really picked his spots well and, and helped you in a number of occasions when Loyola was making a run or getting really close. How has he kind of developed, especially now with Saeed gone, as far as being that guy or one of those guys who kind of knows when his offense is, is needed? Yeah, no, I, I agree with, with uh, what you said there, uh, picking his spots. Um, you know, I thought it was by far his best game I've seen him play just because of his decision making. You know, we want him to be as aggressive as possible. And, you know, sometimes he's coming down and he's going to shoot some bombs. And, you know, we need him to be that aggressive and that confident. But I thought that he got to the rim. You know, he's trying to get in there and, he, and he's expanding his game. You know, he's doing things that he hasn't been asked to do. So he's learning as he goes here. Um, so, you know, I thought his effort and what he was trying to do was uh, perfect, um, even though the result wasn't always perfect. So we just need him to continue to, you know, all our guys, we say, you know, just keep getting better, add to your game. So you're not just a one-dimensional player, and he's he rebound that he threw, you know, through passes. So he's been he's been doing that. He's been great. The Eagle. Uh, hi, Coach. Um, when you're playing against a player as a, I guess a versatile scoring wise as um, Aldama, I guess um, how do you uh, you know, game plan for that? And um, you know, um, with a guy that can you know shoot, he's tall and he can you know put the ball on the ground. Yeah, no, nah, he's obviously a really good player. He can do multiple things, like you said. Um, and, you know, you know, you're not going to stop him. You know, he's too good of a player, and he can do so many different things that you're not going to completely stop him. So, uh, and we didn't, we didn't today. Uh, but to be honest, it's a team effort just to limit, you know, what he, what he does, you know, limit how much he hurts us and make sure that other guys aren't hurting us Um you know, just so you want, you want to win the game. So it's not a, we got to stop Santi to win the game. Um, you know, in a, in a, essentially he's going to get his more or less. So if you can, you know, limit everybody else and make him really work for everything that he does get, you know, you're doing as much as you can against a guy like that. Marcus. Hey coach, how did the um, experience of having the tight games at Navy uh, in your previous two games, help you out today in closing out today's close game? Um, yeah, you know, obviously we haven't had, you know, any game experience. So, um, you know, close games, you know, you, it's something that you learn. Um, you know, so I thought we did, we got sloppy. I mean, I th the whole game was sloppy, to be honest with you. But, um, you know, I saw, I thought in crucial there's some stretches there where we were additionally sloppy. Um, you know, we could have expanded the lead just a little bit to give yourselves a little bit more of a cushion. Uh, but again, it's that's a learning process. And, you know, for this group right now, for who we are, where we are, just our goal is to just be in the game, you know, the last four minutes. And hopefully you can, you know, keep it close enough where you can come away with a win. You know, I think, you know, as you watch our league, you know, um, I mean, Loyola is two point games for both of their games last weekend. You know, it's a one point game um, today. And I hope it's a one point game tomorrow. That means we're in the game and we just got to do enough to come away with the win. Jake. Mike, uh, Jameer said that he gives his game ball today to Josh. Um, what did you think? You talked before the season that like even last year, Josh could have played more minutes, but you know, he was behind Mark or he was playing, you know, there, there just were, weren't that many minutes there, you know, with a veteran guy like Mark, what have you seen from him this first couple of weeks, as far as his progression today, you know, just the number of ways that he scored and attacked uh, one of the biggest teams in the league thought that was impressive. And then also on the defensive end. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, 
even after last summer, Josh came back in great shape, you know, so he's a worker, you know, he, you know, as, as limited um, as he was to what he can do at home all spring and all summer, he came back in, you know, tip top shape. So he puts in the work and then every day in practice, I mean, it's just a pleasure to coach just because you're saying, hey, do X, Y, and Z, and you know it's going to get done. Um, and he's obviously put a lot of work into his game. Um, you know, he feels pretty confident down there. I mean, those are some big bodies today. And he's, you know, maneuvering and getting, you know, himself really good looks. So a lot of work went into him getting to that point. Um, you know, and he wasn't as comfortable against Navy, but again, with all these guys, they're going to, you, you got to get it. It's kind of like practice where you give them reps, you know, where they're going to make mistakes. It's not going to be great, but they need those reps to get the confidence in order to do it. Uh, we just have to essentially do it in games. Um, so it was good to see him, you know, do that today. And, you know, again, it's, it'll, our guys will be more sort of alert and feeding him because he had, you know, he's holding these guys off and that's hard to do. And I thought we could have gotten the ball even more. Uh, but Josh, you know, great kid, easy, you know, great, you know, coachable. He's, you know, he's one of the upperclassmen like Jameer and Stacy, where they're just, you know, leading this group. And it's such a fun group to coach uh, because of their leadership. Anyone else? Um, Last question. Um, having a Connor back uh, this game, uh, since he didn't play last weekend, how he didn't, uh, I guess, uh, shoot the ball, you know, as well as he usually does, but just how important was it just to have like a veteran guy that you know, knows what you want from him out there, uh, especially during like a, a kind of strange season like this? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you can tell that, you know, he hadn't played in months and he just wanted to get out and run around and get some shots up. Um, so, I, you know, he was kind of, you know, um, exuberant in everything that he was doing. So was, he was happy to be out there. Uh, so he'll definitely get more consistent as we go. But, you know, he really, you know, he can do a lot of different things, you know, offensively and defensively. Um, you know, we're, we're going to need him to be a, continue to be aggressive. So it's just good, at, good to have another body, another older guy out there just running around trying to make plays on both ends of the court.